But I'm healthy. Well, that's good. Finger pointers, mother Oh, welcome back to the Stash and Beard Show. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I was I was waiting for that the entire time. I was like, just to fucking do the intro, I'm finger gunning it. I was I, I had to get it on the finger gun. So. Thank goodness, because you were you were sour on the finger guns last week, and you got to get in on. Yeah, because it. it's like seriously, it's like pew pew. Like who? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Some Star Wars bullshit, you know? It's not Star Wars bullshit. I've never seen Star Wars. I I, neither have I. Loser. But it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we though? Are we losers for not getting into Star Wars? Yeah. Are you a Trekkie yeah. fan? No. I can't. I, I, don't, I don't like sci-fi. any of that. I, don't, I, I like Lord fantasy, like totally Harry ball. Potter, uh, you know, like like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I, I'm I, into that sort I of stuff. The trees walking. First Lord of the Rings was amazing. Yeah. Um, first Harry Potter, and mm-hmm. I was kind of like, okay, I'm done. Total Recall. Yeah. You want to go to Mars and aliens and some shit like that and some Arnold and yeah. You know, I'm all about it. Let's yeah. fucking watch it. That's some strange alien. Wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Uh, westerns. That's what I. That's when I think finger guns. I'm thinking outlaw Josie Wales. So, I'm thinking uh, um, True Grit and what, uh, Cowboys and Aliens. Cowboys and Aliens were is actually great. two good western movies. Uh, that I, I Tombstone. Got into. No. Tombstone. Wyatt Earp. No. What? I tried and tried and tried. I wasn't. I wasn't. A big You're western fan. joking. No. I tried Wyatt Earp. Uh, who was that? Val Kilmer. That's, uh, yeah. Kevin Costner. I'll, I'll, I'll be your Huckleberry. Yep. No. I tried. Okay, Corral, like all that shit. Dude. It, was, it wasn't I'm until hurt. True Grit came out with um, and Jeff Daniels. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And then, like, I think Rooster Cogburn, he goes all the way back to John um, Wayne. Yeah. And I tried watching that one. I'm like, no, not into it. So but not this like, fucking True Grit. Like Clint Eastwood, nope. Outlaw Josie Wales. Nope, none of it. None. Saddles. Cowboy, nope. Blazing Saddle. Blazing Saddle doesn't count as a but Western. It's Western. Cowboys it's and Aliens. Have you watched that one? I've seen that one. It's that a great movie. Actually, fucking amazing. Great movie. Um, Daniel Craig. Before I ever liked Daniel Craig, because yeah. I didn't like him because he took over Bond. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. when he became the new Bond, I was like, "Fuck you! You ain't you ain't Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Fuck you, you blonde-haired, blue-eyed Bond. Like <laughs> fuck this shit." And then I saw Skyfall, uh-huh. and I went and bought all the Daniel Craig movies. Oh really? Uh, and that now was I'm like the a turning point. Daniel Craig fan. I, it was He's from great. Scott. He is. But I didn't like him in anything because I was like, you fucking took Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Fuck you. You know? And it was like, that was legit why I did not like that man. Yeah. But then I saw, you know, um, uh, Cowboys and Aliens. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is this movie? This is amazing. It's great. But seriously, Cowboys and Aliens, like, <laughs> the, the, the mesh of, I don't even know. Yeah, but it was an amazing movie. Yeah. You, oh, oh yeah. dude, you have to watch it. Yeah. It dude. really is a good movie. I'll Definitely. So, later. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But no, not a, not a Western fan, you know? Yeah, that, um... Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, uh, Marshall, Wisconsin, or Wyoming, um, Lo- uh, Longmire. Longmire. Okay. Have you ever watched this? I have not watched it. So I'm not into law shows. Yeah. And I'm not into westerns. Okay. But this uh, Carrie is actually the one that turned me onto it, and it's this sheriff out in Wyoming, uh-huh. and I'm, dove into all six seasons. Really? Oh, tore it apart. I've heard great absolutely, things about that show. Absolutely I just amazing never have show. Yeah. So yeah, but I was like, who, you know. Westerns, sheriffs. I'm just like, what is this shit? But I was, I was attached to that fucking show. It was just weird. Yeah, yeah. And then, I, then I got into the voice, and I got to the character, and I, yeah, you know. <laughs> you ever, you ever do a, a, um, Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Snake Plissken? Nope. No idea. Ever? No idea oh what you're talking God. about. No. I'll sit there and do Snake Plissken's voice, and I'll piss Jess off. Snake. I, Snake Plissken. Plissken. I will literally sit here and I'll talk like Snake, and then I'll, I'll have a conversation as myself answering Snake. It pisses my fucking wife off. <laughs> I swear to God, when she come up here, if we're still here, ask her. Yeah. I will talk like Snake, and then I'll talk like Alan, and Snake, and Alan, and I'll have a conversation. I don't need anybody. I'm literally as if the two of us are in a room together. It's super creepy. Just me but just and to, my thoughts. But just to piss her off. That's and she's like, awesome. I can't believe you're talking, and I'm, I'll just go off on it. It's incredible. Yeah. Yep. So, anyway. Yeah. Do you like superhero movies? So, yes, but I hate superhero comics. I was okay. not a comic sure. kid. Yeah. Um, I never got into them. And so now when people talk about all these movies, I'm like, fuck yeah, like this movie was amazing. Yeah. To the point where like diehards are like, this movie sucked because they go back to the comics. Uh-huh. I don't know nothing about the comics. Right. So it's like when you guys read books and yeah. watch movies, you're like, yeah. oh, the book was better. Right. I watch these movies, I'm like, oh, fucking fantastic. Yeah. And everybody's like, fuck this, this movie sucked. Like it didn't go off to the comics. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't know comics. I, so. I never, I never read any of the comics. I love the superhero movies. My wife and I are just eating up WandaVision. It, the, haven't gotten into it yet. Oh man, yeah? it is phenomenal. Really? The, so they is do it an Doctor Who. Who's the red face guy? Uh, Vision. Vision. Okay. Yeah. He, okay. He, um, so 
the what they do, which is fantastic, is for the first like three episodes, y you know something's wrong, but it's like an old time uh, sitcom. Mm -hmm. So so like episode one is like I Love Lucy. Yeah. yeah. Um, episode two is like w another sitcom from the sixties or uh, um, um, the Vic Dan Vi uh, Vic Dan Dick Van Dyke Dick Show. Van Dyke yeah, 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 yeah. show. Um, so it, it's in those styles, and there's only like these little moments where you go, something's not like, like I know this character from the movies that I've watched, and, and something's weird here. I, I, I like, why is this happening? Yeah. And then third episode, fourth episode, you start to peel back the layers, and the last episode comes out this upcoming Friday, and my wife and I are just hooked, yeah. and it's. Oh, dude. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to watch it based off your recommendation. Yeah. I'm, I'm so far I haven't found any of the um, uh, except Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I, I just don't understand it. What? I don't. Get I it. figured that would be the one that you would like latch uh, on to. Wolverine uh, Origins. Love that one. Um, the you original like X-Men. Wolverine yeah. Origins. Yeah. I. I, I, I'm I wasn't. I'm bored. Like, yeah, but that's coming from no not knowing comics. Um, so I just watched these movies. I'm like, pretty, pretty interesting to see uh -huh. how the. Uh, you watch Gotham? I think I asked you this. I, so, I, I've seen season one of. Okay, Gotham. so Gotham is like amazing to me because it's like the the run up of how these characters come to sure. be in Batman. Yeah, I love stories like that. Um, Hannibal Rising uh -huh. for Hannibal Lecter. Sure, yeah, amazing. Yeah. It shows you how he became the Hannibal we know. So I right. like those type of things. Yeah. So this movie showed us how Wolverine became and the X Men came and things like that. So. I don't know anything about Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know anything about Thanos. I don't know. I don't get into all that. So when I watch these movies, I'm kind of like, you know, it, it okay. takes something to, to hook me. Or you guys will rave about it. I'm like, okay. You uh -huh. know. Um, Interesting. Yeah. That's, okay. That's my take on those. It's funny because all of the Marvel movies are essentially a great big origin story to Thanos, the bad guy. And then yeah. the... And then they have the the two big movies that uh, yeah. that you know the big blockbuster movies that everyone went fucking nuts for. So it, which I didn't like, by the way. Was it because you didn't know all the characters? Too damn long. Well, there there is that. I think it, it was a three hour movie. The um the last one was a three hour movie. And this is the one whatever one where Iron Man and Black Widow die. That's the last one. Okay. Uh, Endgame yeah. or no? Uh, um, in you don't know. Uh. It goes Infinity War, then oh, that's Endgame. the one I watched. Infinity War. So you watched the first one. Yeah. Man, the second one is so good. I, is I, it? It, it's funny because like it, it, they are long movies. They are yeah. super long movies, and if you, there are a lot of callbacks to the twenty movies that came before yeah. it. And I've heard that too. I've pulled it up and watched how they go in chronological order and right. which way to watch them. Um, something Phoenix about Jean Grey. Yeah, so, an amazing movie. I love that one. It's funny because people hate you. I, love the X Men movies, yeah, and people hated the yeah, X Men movies. I, I liked it seeing, seeing how she was actually more powerful than they ever let on in any of the movies. Uh huh. Um, how she had more power than Professor X. Yeah. And uh, even Magneto. Yeah. And stuff like that. I don't think as much power as Thanos. Thanos, whatever. Right. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it's just something about it. Then, then, then you pour all the characters. Then you're bringing all the characters. And right. I'm like, oh Jesus, here we go. Right. It, I mean, the last then it was two. Like too much. For the me. the last movie is just a big Marvel jerking themselves off yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Which, as someone who has put hours and hours into watching this stuff, I appreciated it because yeah. it was like, ah, I, I get, I understand all the references. And and then being in a movie theater with a bunch of other people that also understood all the references, it was like a weird. It was almost like a concert. So it's it, funny you hear that, uh, or, or me hearing that from you, because like I can't stand when we go to a theater and mm -hmm. people are talking. Yeah. Like pet peeve. Like, yeah. Shut the f up. Yeah, yeah. Now if I go to a movie with you like this, uh -huh. now I'm the motherfucker talking I'm like, who's this? Who's got uh, cake? Yeah. Why is his mask off? Yeah. Who's she? I'm yeah. like, I, because I don't know anything. I, right. I need to know. So now I'm that talker, and then I'm like, you know what? F this. Because you don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. It's disrespectful. Right. So I'm like, you know what? You're Just over talking. here. Turn Every, you're here. Yeah. Everyone's cheering. You're like, I don't know what the yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, here. sure, like him. And, and yeah. so I just get lost in that, and I'm just like, it's just too much, sure. too much information overload. Sure. Um, and not enough information being kicked back. So yeah. I'm just like, F this movie. Yeah, I you get know? that. I totally get that. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel about Star Wars. Uh, to circle all the way back, I, I, I have, I've never seen a Star Wars movie. I haven't watched like The Mandalorian. I haven't watched any of that. I, I haven't. Didn't me and you talk about people 
or maybe there's a TikTok about it when people want to uh, try to explain to you The Mandalorian and why you should go watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember if, no. if we talked about this, but it's like, like you know, it's like the Jehovah's Witnesses when they come to you, you just slowly <laughs> shut the door. Like, like thanks. Yeah, thanks sorry, goodbye. I'm really not home. Lights off. You yeah. know, sorry, I opened yeah. the door. Because <laughs> then it's like then they're trying to sell you on why you need to watch The Mandalorian and Wait. why you need to watch the other nine movies and which way to watch them and it's why George Lucas so did this. And I'm like, right. okay, I don't have enough shits in the world to give a shit. Absolutely. I don't, I don't care. You see this bag? This yeah. is an empty bag. This is <laughs> a bag all. that has all the fucks I have to give. I won't None. care about Star Wars and Star Trek. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, man. Listen, like, it, it, if it was something that you love uh, growing up or, or that you love now, great. Awesome. Happy for you. I will listen to you talk about it because... My, one of the biggest things that, that really frustrates me is when someone, like, if I come up to you and, and I say, I'm really excited about this, and you go, ah, oh, that's fucking stupid. Like, even if, even if I don't like the thing, I'm still going to be excited that you're excited. Yeah. yeah. And, and so I, I'll, give the, I'll give you that respect of, hey, you want to talk about the thing that you like? Sure, come over talk yeah, to yeah. me about it. You know, it, uh, it, if you like it, great. I'm not going to have much to say back, but I'll listen. If you want to do that, great. Don't try to convince me that I should watch Star Wars because yeah. I have more fun hearing someone say, "You got to watch Star. You've we never seen Star. This. This, That's this, what, this it is is. what it is. As soon yeah. as you said that, I was like, it triggered. I was like, I know. Yeah. I knew we had talked about this. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, it, I have more fun telling people I've never seen Star Wars than people than than I would get watching Star Wars. I'm yeah. sure of it. I just my barber last week was trying to get me onto the show called The Originals, and he's so excited about it. It's about vampires. And I'm not in vampires. That yet. is, I know that one because my brother Lucas and my mom are super into those shows, like it, the Vampire Diaries. It and did all that not sort of matter stuff. to my barber that I had not seen this show. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, you got to watch." That. I was like, "Oh, you know, I'll give it a try." He then proceeds to tell me about the prequel and mm -hmm. yeah. everything, and I'm trying to talk to him about Blade and um, uh, what you're is just it? Twilight. Tr you're just trying to find something. To so add like, to so, the conversation. And that's, and that's it. But like he then goes in and tells him about the show while he's lining my beard up. And I'm just sitting there. I was like, I like he's going in on it. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I, I don't know if you remember or not. I haven't seen it. I, yeah. I don't know it. But now he's like, he's like, he's like, oh, you remember this and, and this? I'm like, no, because I no, haven't seen it. And he's I, still I telling me details. <laughs> dude, 30, 30 minutes of, of clipping beard. And I'm just like. I then get in the truck and I'm like, I guess I gotta watch this fucking show now. Like you just gave me everything about it. Right. But he's selling it the entire time, Man. talking as if like you know, like we would do after you know the, the Super Bowl or and a some, big game or something. You know. There's some fandoms. Go Bucks. Yeah. Go Bucks. There you go, brother. <laughs> there's some fandoms Tom that Brady. are just. <laughs> I agree. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. I don't get. Tom Brady's still a villain. Okay. I don't care who he plays for. <laughs> I, I will. And we're coming way off track. I will always say he is the goat, but fuck him. Absolutely. I don't give a fuck who he plays for. Yep. So. He's, he's his life is too great. He's it's got. Not, I don't even give a shit no, about his life. I do. I Listen, don't. he he's got he's he's got a wife that makes more money than him because she's a fucking model. I don't think uh, there's anybody out there that I covet. Like man, if I had if I had his wife or if I had his car. Sure. You know, I don't. You know I, what I'm I, saying? I'm not saying I want that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, I yeah. want to be Tom Brady. Yeah. I'm saying, man, you also were the greatest quarterback of all time. You got all this on top of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the kind of thing. You I know? think that's still coveting. Fuck. I think a little bit. Hey, Tom Brady, I take all that back. <laughs> Listen, you're fine. <laughs> your kids, all you want. Nah, I, don't nah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. You saw, you've I seen did. it. Uh, I did. <laughs> Censoring that one. <laughs> of all the shit we've we said on We just put a long show. bleep through that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I still, you know, and they, you know, I don't know, teach your, address, your own. Kiss also. your grandma, kiss huh? your mom, like things like that. Address. I don't know. Give his home address. <laughs> Tom Brady lives uh, in Derek Jeter's old house. What's Fun that fact? episode on uh, Saturday Night Live when, um... Like Paul Rudd and like they like the whole family all just kissed each other. Have you I ever seen know. that? I haven't oh seen no! That. Oh, maybe we can put a, a clip to that. Or maybe we don't. I don't know. <laughs> Super uneasy mm -hmm. uh, for me anyway watching that shit. But like the you hear the live audience just fucking losing their shit because like you know Paul um, not Paul I said um, fuck I just forgot his first Paul name. Paul Rudd? No, no. Paul Rudd is on there. Um, uh, Fred Armisen. Yeah. Um, the the whole fucking cast. 
And so the, the husband and wife kiss, and then the kids come through, and they're like, oh, hey. So then, you know, the mom and the son, they hug and kiss, and the dad and daughter, and then it's son and son, and mom and mom, <laughs> and every fucking buddy just next thing you know, they're all fucking making out. But it's like dude on dude, woman on woman, and the fucking crowd is like losing it. And it's super uneasy for me to watch, yeah. but I'm also now laughing because the, the crowd is fucking losing it. Yeah. And it's been like, you know, a, a staple. In, in their go-to skits. Yeah. But I'm just like, no, man, like that's that's a little too much, especially little on much. live TV. Yeah. <laughs> so then come back and I see the Tom Brady thing. I'm like, eh, you know, to each family their own. Sure. You know? Absolutely. You, you do your own things of affection. I I don't do that. But yeah. Hey, I ain't, I ain't trying to judge. Yeah. You know? I, sure. It sounds like we are, but I'm not Listen, I'm trying not to. Here's the thing. We're not going to do it. Absolutely not. Are we going to shame you for doing it? A little. Absolutely. However... <laughs> Doesn't make you a bad person. Except maybe is Tom Brady I think Tom Brady's a good person. I don't I don't know what Has Tom he Brady ever is. done anything bad in his goddamn life? Well, like except ever? Be, except being a cheater in New England. Yeah, but okay. But, but even what, that Deflate was Gate? Yeah. Alright, Deflate Gate. Seriously, that motherfucker got in trouble for Deflate Gate. Yeah. They beat them, they were beating them with deflated balls. Right. And then came out and said, Oh, okay, well if you thought we were cheating, now we'll play for real. And then beat the out of them yeah. like what another 21 28 points to yeah. nothing yeah like with with overly inflated balls yeah I don't know. <laughs> overly inflated balls like, there's no there's no, way there's no good that. way of saying that yeah. properly <laughs> proper <laughs> balls yeah proper balls <laughs> he, he didn't have proper balls we so. gotta we gotta make a t-shirt out of that <laughs> whatever we gotta do uh, but yeah so it was just like did you did you cheat you know what right. I mean? If you're that good, number one, why did you cheat? And then number two, you because you didn't have to cheat. Well, yeah, you, you, you just showed you didn't have to do it. But like, what the fuck did I, like underinflated balls have to do? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Uh, does, and does it make them easier to catch? Does it make them harder to throw? That's the idea. The yeah, idea is it makes it fucking throw. Not necessarily if you got a good grip. Like if you got a good grip to How throw. How far underinflated were they? I don't have a clue, man. I guess enough that it was illegal. Excuse me, but I guess enough that it passed by everybody. All 11 defensive players, all 11 offensive players, 36 referees. Like, how are we have on there? Deflate gate. <laughs> uh, Maybe that tells us the correct way to say balls. <laughs> it's, it's the, the scrotum. Monster, uh, <laughs> monster, monster balls. <laughs> Um, I legit. I don't know why I have to slow it down and say it like a window licker. Uh, Tom Brady ordered the de the, the deliberate. This is from Wikipedia. Uh -huh. Tom Brady ordered the deliberate deflation of footballs used in the Patriots' victory against the Indianapolis Colts in the 2014 AFC Championship game. The controversy resulted in Brady being suspended for four games. The team was fined one million dollars and yep. forfeited two draft selections in 2016. Um, AFC Championship. Uh, wouldn't it benefit both teams if they were? Well, play? no, because uh, because each team gets their own balls. Oh, so they play with their own balls. Oh, okay. No, this... Did you set me up for that? <laughs> wow. Good. How's it going? Well done. All right, so so uh, uh, here okay, it is. But here, like, Eleven of the twelve balls used by the Patriots were measured to be two pounds per two psi below the minimum amount, uh, while others were just a few ticks under the minimum. I remember that each team has their own set. Like yeah. they have, they have. I think twelve, and they have twelve. Um, but they change yeah. it every. I don't know, man. Moral of the story. I, I, per I personally think throwing, like, okay, give me a football and give me a Nerf ball. Yeah. All right. So you know how squishy. Yeah. Like throwing a Nerf ball is way harder. Yeah. To throw than to me than a football, but that's me. Right. So you under inflate a ball. Now it's like I got a little more give to it, and I got to throw it. Now it might make make it easier for you to catch versus bouncing off of you. Right. But so I don't. It I don't would also be that. easier for a running back to grip it, to maybe. hang on to. Maybe. You maybe know, they had more fumble give problems all of all of 2014 or 2015, whenever the fuck it happened. I don't know. All so. I know is they came out second half and destroyed the Colts. The Colts they didn't did. put any points on. And who ended up winning the Super Bowl that year, 2016? I believe that was the Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, because... Okay, so, but that was... <coughs> excuse me, so you said they took two picks away from them. Yeah. He suspended four games. Yeah. Of the 2016 season. Yes. And I think they still went on to win the Super Bowl. Um, they... But didn't the suspension start the next season? Of the 2016 season, I believe. Um, no. Wait. Mark, 10-year anniversary, blah, 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 blah. Why is Wikipedia awful? 
Um, game summaries. Fucking scrolling. scrolling, scrolling. What questions are you asking? I just I, I just went from the last Wikipedia um, what thing year to was Deflate Gate. Uh, I got it. <coughs> Super January versus 18th, the Seattle Seahawks. Patriots won 28-24. Patriots won. Patriots okay, won. Okay, so Florida it happened Seahawks. on January 18th of 2015. He suspended four games of the 2015-2016 season. Yeah. So when the season started in September, he would have been out for four games. They lost two draft picks, fined a million dollars. Right. The Patriots then go on to the Super Bowl in January or February of 2016 yeah. and then win. Right. So like you didn't like you beat the shit out the Colts in the second half. Right. And then you still went on to right. win the Super Bowl the next year. Yeah. Off of um, penalties from the year prior. Right. Like, I mean if that done. I don't know, it just makes me even angrier, <laughs> being a Dolphins fan. So what's the moral of the story here? Cheat. F*** Tom Brady. Yeah, cheat. Yeah. Because, you know, you're, I don't know, whatever, I don't even know, what's the moral? There is no moral. Is moral? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good place to stop. Hey, come on back, we're going to talk about our lifts of the week. Finger guns, baby! <laughs> uh, we also have some other stuff. Something. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh, we killed him! Killed him dead. Uh, this is the Stash and Beard Show. We'll be back. Later, motherfuckers.